Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Katrina Zhao, the Principal Dentist at Midas Dental and my focus is on cosmetic and reconstructive dentistry. Now today we're going to go into a few case studies about some of our special patients and we're going to talk about some of the work that we usually do in our clinic. We do focus on all on four dental implants as well as porcelain veneers and Invisalign and we do a whole range of different dental procedures and today we're going to discuss an all on four case that we finished up recently. So just right behind me here we have patient B. B is a mid 70s age male. He has a pretty good general health condition. He doesn't have a lot of medical conditions with the exception of having a previous history of heart disease. He's had um, some cardiac stents placed and he's also on anticoagulants, blood thinners, to make sure that his heart disease doesn't progress to anything worse. He's got a regular recall with, with his cardiologist. B has actually expressed to me that he's always had a history of dental decay ever since he was a child and he's always gone into the dentist to continually patch up and fix his teeth. He's gone through a number of fillings, root canals and even crowns on his teeth and over the years his dentition has further degraded to the state that we're currently seeing now. So at his presentation he came with um, currently three anterior teeth on the upper um, <clears throat> on the upper right hand side present and three posterior teeth with the exception of the canine um, two posterior teeth on the upper left hand side still present the rest of his upper dentition is either missing or it's actually decayed to the point where it's no longer present above the gum line so B came for an initial consult and a checkup and clean and he wanted to know what his treatment options were for his current dentition he said that he's heard about all on four dental implants as a possible treatment method and he wanted to know a bit more about the treatment. He's been a long-term denture wearer, so he has a denture which he wears to replace his missing teeth and he knows about the possibilities of crown and bridge as well, but he wanted to know a bit more about a fixed option in the term of dental implants and whether it'd be suitable for him. So initially we presented with um, this current presentation and we took some initial records, including x-rays. We performed a checkup and clean for him and we also um, took some initial scans, some itero scans of his teeth to create initial record, including intraoral and extraoral photographs. We collated all of these records for our assessment and we conducted a thorough analysis into his current smile and into what his current dental condition is. And I'm gonna bring up his existing X-ray at the start of the treatment and we're gonna delve more into analyzing his X-rays and finding out what his existing conditions are and what his possible treatment plans are. So let's go around to the X-rays now. So now we've got the X-ray of patient B in front of us. And this is currently what his upper and lower dentition looks like. So in terms of his X-ray, we can see here that his teeth are heavily restored. He has multiple restorations in his teeth. Um, some of them are composite fillings, some of them are amalgam fillings. He's also had a root canal treatment on this tooth, which has failed, as it's actually got an area of periapical infection on top of the root. Um, some of the fillings have actually got what I would call um, leaking margins around the restorations. They're starting to get some secondary caries. He's also got two root stumps here where the tooth has broken off beneath the gum level. So now there's no longer any tooth present, but the root is still remaining. As for his resi residual teeth, his other teeth, he's also got um, <clears throat> this tooth here, which basically, this tooth here, which basically has a bit of secondary decay under the existing fillings. And this tooth, which also has a leaking margin. And this tooth, which appears to have a little bit of um, vocation involvement into the gum area of the molar and is starting to show some signs of periapical radiolucencies at the roots of his teeth. Yeah. Patient B essentially has currently one, two, three, four, five, six teeth in his upper arch which are coming into function and he's wearing a current partial upper chrome denture. B has expressed that he is not happy with his denture in terms of the fact that it moves 
and that food gets trapped underneath the denture and he's looking for more fixed options. He's also unhappy with the aesthetics of his teeth, whereby some of his teeth are different colors, shapes, sizes, and they can't 100% match with a denture, and he feels like his teeth are a patchwork of dental work. So we presented patient B with all his treatment options at this stage in time. At this stage, patient B's options were either to A, have root canal conducted on the teeth that required it, and crowns and bridges placed on some of the remaining teeth to support them and give them greater strength because a lot of his teeth are heavily restored. They would need to be restored with crowns to protect them and the construction of a new partial upper denture. His second option was to go for an upper full clearance and replace all of the upper teeth with an upper full denture. His third option was to have the upper arch of teeth extracted and replace the dentition with four dental implants in the traditional all-on-four style, whereby two straight implants are placed in the front area and two angled implants are placed in the posterior. And basically these four implants would act as the abutments for an upper set of fully prosthetic teeth, whereby all of his teeth would be replaced now as a new process, prosthesis on, upon the dental implants. Bill went back to consider all his treatment options and let us know what he would prefer to do with his current dentition. And we actually went ahead and conducted all the treatment planning for him, measuring the amount of bone that he had available and how much bone he would have left after the extractions were conducted. And we went through all the various risks and complications of the procedure with Bill. And after working together with him and speaking to his medical doctor about his current dental, dental and physical health conditions as well, we came up with a treatment plan whereby our plan was to cease his, um, cease his blood thinners for seven days before implant surgery. During the same surgery, the goal would be to extract all of the current teeth that are in place, remove all the residual infections, and level the surrounding bone so that it would be forming a smooth and um, balanced foundation for the placement of dental implants. We placed four dental implants and recorded their positions during the surgery and then within about 24 to 48 hours, we restored those implants with a temporary set of, pros of prosthetic teeth. After we finished the surgical phase of the treatment for this patient, we actually allow the implants to heal with the bone and that takes about three to six months for the osseointegration pro process to occur. And after the implants have grown together with the bone, when we've tested them and actually um, actually confirm that osteo integration has occurred. We take a series of x-rays and we use our actual um, our penguin device to check that successful osteo integration has undergone the processes. And for this patient, all four implants integrated successfully without any further issues. And we were able to start the treatment planning process for the final teeth in about three months after he had his implants placed. For the final teeth, our process is we digitally record the locations of the implants using our scan gauges, and then we submit the implant positions to the dental lab, along with the temporary teeth and the bite, which feels comfortable for the patient. And then we ask the lab to either proceed to create a try-in for us to actually let the patient test out his new smile, or if the patient is really happy with their temporary prosthesis, we proceed straight to the final prosthesis manufacturer and we restored this arch with a um, acrylic bonded to titanium bar and that was able to create a nice cosmetic effect for the patient and he was able to choose his desired tooth shade a nice and bright clean looking new set of teeth and we were able to restore the arch from six to six um, with a full new set of permanent teeth and right in front of the screen here that's where we've got the new <clears throat> permanent teeth that we've created for him. This was his original smile, um, his natural teeth, 
which were previously there and this is his permanent set of teeth which we created at the end of that process and needless to say he was extremely happy with the results they were a lot more comfortable he was able to have a fixed solution and he was able to chew a lot more effectively he no longer had to wear dentures so he didn't have to remove every anything at night or clean anything at night when he went to sleep. He did have a new aftercare routine for his new permanent prosthesis which included using a water pick and X floss to clean underneath the bridge but he did remark that in terms of aftercare it was a lot easier than having to wear removable dentures and so after this whole permanent set of teeth has been installed he only needs to tend once every six months for a routine maintenance where we clean around the implants, check that he's been maintaining his oral hygiene and we just check the implant torque to make sure that the screws are not coming loose and we just um, clean over everything and reiterate the oral hygiene instructions and follow up with him once every six months. So this was his final smile result with a full face. Um, he was extremely very confident now with his new smile. He was able to go out um, socially. He didn't seem to find that there was much adjustment required in terms of getting used to the new bite. He quickly became accommodated to it. And yeah, afterwards he was extremely happy with his results and we're really happy for him because he's a lovely gentleman. So we were able to restore his smile and now looking forward to just seeing him once every six months. So thanks for staying with us for this case presentation and hopefully we'll have more interesting cases to share with you in the future. Um, just in summary, this was an upper all on four case where we completed the extraction of the remaining upper teeth, placed four implants and restored them with a temporary set of teeth followed by a permanent prosthesis. And yeah, just looking forward to seeing you in the future. Stay tuned with Midas Dental.